Hello and welcome to this special presentation where I, your awkward host, will be showing you, the audience, through my extensive collection of Japanese game show memorabilia, which as of this recording date is believed to be the largest collection outside of Japan. Uh, this is going to be a very informal video, but I hope you all will find something you enjoy. So here we have my uh, bookshelf. Now the top shelf really doesn't have a whole lot of Japanese game show stuff, but it's the bottom two shelves that contain the bulkhead of the collection. But we do have a few things up here. We have uh, two of the books that um, Takeshi Gundan member Duncan wrote, one of which I can't read. The other one is uh, Duncan's uh, Owari no Sekai, World of Humor. Uh, we have uh, a couple of, this is from one of the people, I'm sure someone who can speak, yeah, this is a very old book. I believe this is from someone who was on, is either I've Got a Secret or the uh, 20 Doors, I don't remember, but uh, you know, the, the person wrote this but died in the 1960s, again, if I could read kanji a lot better, I'd be able to let you know. We got a couple of more pop books about, oop, let me put that back in there, a couple more pop, more of the uh, pop type books about Japanese game shows, this is probably the big one of them, the uh, uh, Quiz Bangami book, which tells you all about stuff, uh, various statistics of quiz shows, if you want to get a, I don't know if you can get that on the zoom in there. Um, uh, we've got, let's see, a lot of stuff, and this has like the full directory. Oh, there's Wheel of Fortune, because there's a, they did a little special on uh, game shows around the world. Hey, oh, it's a trip back home, let's see how... It was good seeing him. Uh, Weakest Link and other game shows that weren't as good. And yeah, that was that. Um, what else do we have? We have TBS's book. I'm hesitant to, to open this and show it, but we've got a lot of cool photos. I can probably just do a quick leaf through. Uh, not all of it's game show related, but a lot of it is. Oh, well, it's not just TBS. But what, duh. Uh, television art. Duh. Uh, there's some quiz panel stuff right there. Uh, and I'm sure Takeshi's in here somewhere, but you get the, oh, dang it, I just saw up-down quiz. There, right there, there's up, there's up-down, let's see if we can get that on camera. If we can get that, there we go. There you go, that's, a, that's probably from like the, I mean, about the 70s. When they took that photo, I'm not gonna go through all these books, that take forever, let's see if there's anything super interesting. Uh, I don't think I have any other Tokyo Friend Park stuff, so let's just show the, Tokyo Friend Park uh, book, there's nothing written in it. It's a uh, notebook for uh, presumably when they're making the show. Um, we have a couple things here, just various magazines that don't quite fit on the bottom floor. Television art, which is basically a similar thing as the, the book there. And uh, maybe be like maybe be a reprint of the same book for all I know. Okay, so over here we have the uh, America Udon Ultra Quiz books. We have all 16 of them, uh, which is the, uh, of course, the greatest uh, quizzer ever made. A lot of dust, need to clean that out. Eeny meeny number five, we have, uh, what is this? This is when they went to, I guess, Chichen Itza for the fifth competition. Um, and let's see here, we get some good art in there. Let's just make sure we don't have any art that we can't show on camera. But there you get the idea, um, people on a plane headed for America to do some sort of American like question, but it's also got all the questions that were asked on the show, which I think in this book equates to over, I wanna say maybe like 650-ish. You get the idea. And the popularity of Ultra Quiz helped begat the, uh, let me that right there for now, the um, All Japan High School Quiz Championship, uh, which was a similar format where they'd have Kids from all over Japan uh, compete on various quiz type, more unique quiz shows rather than just to press a button quiz. They'd have to like drag, like this one right here, they were uh, over the water and if they uh, answered a question incorrectly, they would be dropped and it was one of those kind of fun deals and other stuff like that. Um, I've only got one through, um, I think maybe there, I know they made 16 of them, I think I only had like 10 or 11 of them. Soko Nuke Dasen game, which was a very early stunt show, and this book teaches you how to do the stunts at home. Uh, this probably, I think it was probably from 1960, I would guess. Uh, we have the Seikai, ooh, I don't want to break stuff. Seikai Marugoto, how much? The seven years uh, of humor book, where we, or the seven years of interest book, where we uh, show all of the various places around the world and things that were bid on. I don't know, maybe this one's not as 
I know maybe the other one, maybe the one that's a little bit more in depth than that. Yeah, this one doesn't have the pictures. The other one, the other one, if I see it, I'll show you. Uh, we'll leave that there for now. We have belt quiz, Q&Q, &Q, uh, TBS, 1970, I believe. 69 to, to 80, to 80, I believe, I think. I could be wrong. Uh, here, this is the one. This is the one that's got all the fun stuff in it. Really hoping not Seikai Morogoto, or maybe it's the one next to it. If it is, I'll look really dumb. No, that's from Naruhodo the World. Hey, future me here. Uh, I'm a dum-dum. The book I'm holding actually is from Naruhodo the World, but uh, glad I made this correction. All sorts of stuff from around the world, all sorts of great artwork. This is from uh, Alaska. So, um, let's see here. How much does fish in, how much does one of these fish in Alaska cost? Something to think about. Uh, or at least at the time this book was printed. Um, because Seikai Marugoto was a show where they would, um, they would show things around the world and you have to guess how much it cost within the denomination of the country. We have the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire quiz book. I'm sure there, I know there was one printed in English and another one printed in, uh, well, one printed for the UK and one printed for uh, the Japanese audiences as evident by that. They only have one page worth of uh, panel of ultimate questions and, um, oh God, I know one of them was about um, Holmes. Let's see here. So, oh well, don't remember. Oh. Uh, we have the Quiz Derby books. There are five of them. I only have four of them. This is the uh, Japanese remake of Jeopardy, which aired from 1970 to 1980, and it's really more closely similar to the Art Fleming era than the Alex Trebek era. We have the Trivia no Izumi books, the Fountain of Trivia, which uh, tells us all about the various trivia that was asked on the show. Let's see if I can find a trivia fact that A, I can read, and B, that I can show on camera. For example, Pore Hemplo, did you know that in professional table tennis, your paddle can be any size you want. There's no regulation, at least according to the show. Uh, but it was a show where they'd have a lot of interesting sort of trivia facts, uh, and they would have celebrities would have to rate how interesting or amusing or surprising the trivia was. They made over 19 of these books. I believe I have maybe I don't know 15 of the tw of the 19. Uh, next to that, we have the uh, Quiz Hyaku Ninikikimashita books. This is from the Japanese version of Family Feud, where we have all sorts of questions asked to various people, 100 various people from around various parts of Japan. Uh, again, trying to find one that I can read, which probably not. I don't know if I can show all this on t camera. I don't know if legally I can show it all on camera either, but you get the idea, and they made over I think, again, they made 19 of these, too. I don't know where the number 19 always comes up. We have Pitashi Kan Kan, which was a uh, quiz show where you tried to guess who the celebrity was based on their baby, baby picture, and then they would add facts. It was that kind of thing. Um, how you doing up there, Mom? I'm okay with All eight right. minutes. <laughs> We've got Up Down Quiz trivia book. Stays in the cellophane. It's kind of a hard one to find nowadays. Um, we have two of the Quiz Derby books. Quiz Derby was based on uh, Celebrity Sweepstakes. Ralph Andrews. TBS never bought the supposedly never got the rights, and that's apparently not very uncommon. Again, uh, try to guess which celebrity can. The format was try to guess which celebrity knows the answer to the question, or can answer the question correctly, and they made, I think, four or five of these, and I have two of them. Uh, we have something from... Um, uh, um, we have Only I Know, if I can read that damn kanji, uh, which was a murder mystery quiz. It was a very early show where they would have a mystery play out live on television and, you'd, and the, so the, they'd have a panel of detectives try to figure out who, uh, who committed the murder. And these are I guess, uh, some of the scripts used on the show. We have um, one of my favorites, just because of how rare it is, we have the... Watashi no Himitsu manga, TV manga, which Watashi no Himitsu was the Japanese version of I've Got a Secret, which ran from 1956 till 1968, I think. We got the, the uh, manga gene of it, and very rare. 
They're not very rare, but very brittle because it's from this is printed from the '60s. Uh, let's see, and meant for very small children. And if we go to the next shelf, I'll just set that aside for now. I don't want to, I'm not going to burn while I'm gone. We have the School Punch board games. Uh, there were, I believe, at least, I mean, there were quite a number of them that weren't based on game shows. Some of them were based on just regular kids' shows and things like that. Uh, but these ones were based on various quiz shows that were popular at the time. We've got the Quiz Derby game right there. We've got up down quiz we've got um quiz grand prix jeopardy after mentioned ponchy de punch the date which was kind of a dating game type quiz hybrid uh honmono wadarada which was the uh, second incarnation of to tell the truth um let's see here we have toku uh toku dane toku dane to jo which was a um I believe, if I recall correctly, it was sort of a stadium type quiz where they'd have like a big open anthem theater and sort of do a presentation of a quiz almost. We have, um, uh, uh, yeah, we have, I'll just pull it out and read it. Reikan Yamakan Dairokan, which was a uh, guessing game, a sixth sense, which translates to Reikan's uh, image sixth sense game. And you'd have to try to guess some sort of. Uh, some, some sort of factoid. New star action right there. Um, I believe there, I, supposedly there's one for Pitashi Kan Kan. I've never been able, I've never seen it online, so I don't know if, actually it might be on the back of one of these. That, uh, it's on one of them. I've seen it because they've advertised it. Uh, I skipped Bikuri, didn't I? There it is, right there. Can we get a close up on that? So uh, I've seen it, so they claim that that one was published, this one right here. Uh, can you get it? All right, yeah, that was, uh, so supposedly that's the one I'm looking for. That's the really uh, rare one. Here we have, they've released this recently, which is, okay, there's nothing there. This is a, um, this is a uh, guide on how to make the Ultra Hat from Ultra Quiz. And the, I think I have a version of it later in a box so I can show you the 3D, three-dimensional version of it. But this is one, I really want to get another one because I want to keep this one intact and then I can make the hat because that would make for a cool prop for a video one day. Down here we have, let me know if you need me to move or anything, we have a bunch of production scripts, these are shooting scripts, go for it, uh, from various shows from various eras. Let's see here, I know I've got somewhere in here a Naruhoto the World, we've got, what is this? Oh, ka uh, Kato-chan, Ken-chan, Gokigen Television. Uh, Ken Shimura, may he rest in peace. Episode number 154, the uh, script. I don't think this has any of the uh, video corner in it. I think this is just mainly the comedy they did. Uh, again, my reading skills aren't great. Uh, I don't pretend to, but I can figure it out if I try hard enough. Uh, let's see, what do I have here? Super Jockey script, which is that anytime you see that footage of Takeshi and his members uh, being chased by dogs or something, that's Anytime you see Takeshi and his army being chased by dogs, usually that's the show it's from. Um, we still get an audio? Okay, great. We've got a bunch of Waku Waku uh, Animal Land scripts right here. Let me just pull one out. One of them's, no, I don't think any of them are autographed. I'll pull out the special one just because it's bigger and easier to pull out. Um, there's right there, Waku Waku. Wild Wild Dobutsu Land. Wild Wild, uh, we're Crazy Crazy Animal Land. Um, Hey, isn't that a big script? I don't know if legally we're allowed to show this, but we're showing it anyway. Um, I bought it. We have uh, various older scripts from various shows. Is this my? Some of these are really, some of these are really rare, really old, and really brittle. Brittle. We have Time Shock. We have a question book, and I believe the next thing next to it is the answer key. Uh, yeah, from this is from. Or quiz time shocks. So this would have been a little bit later, episode six ninety nine. I'm betting this is from maybe nineteen eighty three. I would think probably around that era. Uh, very popular show. I'll do a video on it someday if I find enough footage. I hope, or if, unless the channel gets taken down, in which case I won't do it. Uh, we got a couple of very old, very classic era scripts. We've got uh, three scripts from new Soko Nuke Dasen game, which I should have said what that stands for earlier. Uh, new. 
uh, uh, bottomless off the rails game. So it's sort of a play on the fact it's um, it's um, it's unending and the fact that it's just going, it's just, uh, you never know what to expect. There you go, thank you. Um, I know I have the, uh, the Tell the Truth script in here somewhere. Is this it? Yes, it is, because I got it shrink wrapped. Here we go. Homo no wa darada. To tell the truth, vintage 1970, probably later, 19, this, let's see, it aired from 71 till 1980. Uh, script, very brittle, which is why I shrink wrapped it so that it wouldn't break. These are the backs, by the way, if you ever wondered. Um, we'll set that aside for a minute. Uh, what do we got here? Naru Hodo the World special. And next to that I have this script, which is um, from some drama. Oku, uh, snow, big snow, big snow mountain, Higma o something. Someone who knows Japanese better than I do will translate it, but this is like, I think, Snow Bear. It was a drama or something. This has nothing to do with game shows, and the reason I'm holding it is because uh, if anybody wants it, you know, if you're willing to pay the shipping, let me know. Uh, next to it, we have magazines, TV guides, various odds and ends. Uh, I'm going to see if I can pull out one that doesn't have anything obscene in it. Or if it does have something obscene in it, then I can not uh, show it on camera, at least. So I know most of these I bought because they had Takeshi stuff in them. Uh, oh, there it is. There's an, there's the, uh, there's the ad for when... Um, I think this was for episode 44 when the Takeshi Gundan came back from their hiatus after having gone to jail. Uh, and this was the big sort of advertisement, sort of sarcastic. Um, that's probably the only one we'll pull out because some of them have images of naked women in them. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, let's see here, what's this? Classic things. We have the, uh, we have magical Magical Brain Power, which was sort of a uh, cerebral, which was a uh, kind of fun quizzer. Uh, Mom, you're super excited about this, aren't you? <laughs> you and I, you and I are Pitanko, Pitanko, which means you and I are simpatico. Basically, you know, sort of a trying to, it was like a, uh, what do you call those things? What were those things in the 80s where you took, where you like, um, like you went and you filled out a bunch of forms and it was like dating qu profile type things and they'd match you up. It was one of those type of game shows. II game, Japanese match game, 1979 to 1985. I don't know why it's called II game. If you know why it's called II game, please comment below. Uh, we have Punch Day Date. We have uh, Owari Tanoshi Brain Power right there. And I think the rest have nothing to do. Oh, Panel Attack 25. You can't say that I don't have anything from Panel Attack 25, the Japan's longest running quiz show of all time. And one of the longest running quiz shows in history. Uh, anyway, I think we're going to be done with the shelf. I also have some new stuff that I haven't had time to take pictures of. Uh, I have um, a quiz, what year, quiz uh, generation gap, which was sort of a, sh a show where they'd have older and younger. Uh, people trying to, a team of older people and a team of younger people trying to, you know, find out something about some historic fact. We have Quiz Heaven and Hell, which this one's really rare, and I'm really happy I found it. Although I think there's another one that I don't have. Uh, we have Beat Takeshi's Owari Ultra Quiz, which was the parody of Ultra Quiz that Takeshi did. Let me see if I can find something in here that I can show on camera. Nope, can't show that on camera. Nope. Turning the, cam turning the book away from the camera. <laughs> there, there it is. There's the infamous bus. The infamous bus where, the, with the, uh, where they supposedly almost drowned. I don't know how well that shows up on camera. Uh, we have the um, Kiniku Banzuke manga gene. Uh, Wait a minute, my hand's getting tired. Okay. Let me know if you need to take a break. Uh, we have the Muscle Ranking Manga, which was based on their, the show's character, Kiniku, uh, Muscle Kid, Kinikun, Muscle Kid. Yeah, this is a kid's book. I, there probably wouldn't be anything objectionable in that, uh, which is a good one. We've got some phone cards here. Let me open them up real quick. 
because mom wants to do that. We've got the uh, high school quiz phone cards. We've got a Takeshi phone card. We've got um, the uh, supermarket, yeah, God, what's the kanji? <sighs> Doesn't matter. Supermarket sweep from Japan. Uh, and we've got uh, Hiromeki password, which was sort of like a password plus type variant. I think we're done with phone cards. Quiz Hyakunin Kikimashita travel bag, lunch sack, something like that. Uh, punch to date beach ball. I would have had it inflated, but I don't own a pump and I don't want to put my lips on this thing. So uh, trust me, it's a beach ball. Um, articles. Ooh, early NHK. This is from one of the first, uh, probably the first, at least successful, long-running Japanese game shows called Gesture, which aired from 1953 till I believe 1968. Uh, we've got a bunch of scripts here. I probably shouldn't go through all of them. I know one of these is a, these, some of these are old NHK scripts, and one of them is an original version of a script for Sore wa Watashi Desu, which is actually the first incarnation of uh, to Tell the Truth, which aired on NHK. Um, I don't think there's anything too spectacular in here. Other than maybe that guy. A uh, lot, of, lot of generic stuff. You're at 20 minutes. 20 minutes of power or just 20 minutes of recording? Recording. Okay. Mm, got these big scripts I love. Quiz Toro. Uh, quiz Tokoro. Uh, Soreba? Someone can tell me what it means. I think that was uh, that. Ooh, we've got the Quiz Seikai Wa Show by Volume 2. This one was hard to find. This, it's not hard to find. One is a lot easier to find. Uh, but two is a little bit more, it's hard to find in a very good condition. And now let's move over here as I scoot along. We've got some publicity photos, and I forgot that I mic'd, so the cord might be getting in the way. We've got some publicity photos. This is from uh, Belt Quiz. Uh, this is from Family Feud. This is from Quiz Hyakunin Kikimashita. I don't know how well that shows up on camera because it's in cellophane. We have something from Check and Check, which was, I believe, a 70s show. Don't know much a whole, a whole lot about that. Um, marathon Quiz. We have the Struck Out DX. This is from Muscle Ranking, and the I'm sure everyone can figure out what the basic idea is. It's a, a game where you have this little structure and these little targets, and you throw a baseball and try to knock it out, kind of like a carnival game. Uh, I don't have the, the uh, little balls it came with, I just have the, the, uh, the box, the, uh, the, the structure of the frame. We got more stuff over here, various trade ads, there's a Takeshi ad, oh here's the, this is the release from uh, an episode of Takeshi's Castle, and um, that's a pen from TBS, I can assure you it's wrapped in a bag. Mom's getting tired, here's... Uh, Dengeki Ira Ira Bar from Challenger Fire. I showed you that in my Challenger Fire video. Let's head over to that shelf so we can be done with this. Here, let me get the cord and hopefully we'll edit some of this. This has nothing to do with anything. This is just a huge piece of board. Um, we have the Quiz Derby clock from Quiz Derby for the 800th episode doesn't have batteries in it, it'll go back in the box when we're done. We have the Hanto ni Hanto, which is really, really, which was sort of like the Japanese version of Liar's Club, where they'd tell four stories and only one would be true. We have uh, the Anata ni Chosen, You Are Challenged books. These, this was a kid's quizzer. Um, we have the Muscle Runner from Pro Sportsman Number 1 toy. We have... We have the, uh, let's see, what's this? This is a button from Trivia No Izumi. Should have had this guy out so I could demonstrate it, but we'll maybe do a video on it one day. Uh, and oh, I finally can declare myself a panel quiz attack 25 grand champion. There's the trophy, folks. Right there. Can't say I don't have one. Can't say I'm a winner on it, but can't say I don't have one. Here we have quiz Hyakunini Kikimashita board game. Very early. Uh, Board games, some of them aren't in the best condition. We have the Takeshi, Fun Takeshi Joe board game. This was the first one. We have Million Spoon, which is from uh, Honono Taikoku. Eep. We have Million Spoon, uh, where you have a ball and a spoon and you try to put it through some obstacles without dropping it. Let's drop down. We have more, um, almost lost my balance. We have more of the Dengeki Irai Bar, these ones are keychains and you could link them up 
and play with them. They do still work. I need to get like hooks and hang them on the wall. I probably should do that. We have, uh, ooh, we have um, something really good. We have these uh, these tote bags from Quiz Hyakunin and Kiki Mashita. There's Hyakutaro, uh, 100 kid, the snow fox, the mascot of the show. Uh, Mom's not gonna be happy that I'm doing this, but don't. Here we have the Super Dice Quiz uh, towel of some kind. Uh, probably, I don't know, beach towel, bath towel, I don't know. Um, we have the World Fish Puzzle from Seikai uh, from, no, Naruhoto the World, Monkowitz, which they took his design and made the World Fish uh, the mascot for the show. Ever wonder what Japanese Price is Right looks like? Well, now you know. Uh, and here's the up-down quiz board game. People wanted to know where I got that thing. It's from this board game. Uh, Takeshi's Castle Miniature. Um, oh, and I have these books. I've got extras. Does anyone want one of these? Uh, if you pay for shipping, this is an Ultra Quiz number seven, Ultra Quiz number one, and a Natani Chosen book. Uh, they're extras. If someone wants them, speak up, and they will be yours. Uh, and then we have a few more things to show. We have uh, another thing that if anyone wants it, the this um, uh, Danjira, uh sort of Gundan um, Mahjong game. This came with something. I have no use for it. If someone wants it, uh, let me know. Here's the um, uh, TV uh, early television CD set, which has a bunch of early Japanese television show themes, but uh, and also has a bunch of game show themes on here. Gesture. Uh, yeah, there's, wa there's Watashi no Himitsu. You can't we're see. We're 26 minutes. Okay, mom's getting tired. <laughs> we'll be quick. Let's 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 uh, let's flash one. TBS broadcast tracks, Takeshi's Castle theme, and I've got a bunch of. I should do. I should do like a video where I just show off the. And I won't make you do it, mom. Very all the Takeshi's Castle albums, or CDs, albums that had music used on the show. Speaking of which, we have. Uh, not that. Where's Takeshi no Ondo? There it is. EP. Uh, I think we're almost done. I think the only item we have left is the the dragon. We'll do a quick cut. Oh, we have the uh, NHK early VHS tapes. Now you know what kind of DVDs I like other than Japanese stuff. We have uh, Gesture and um, I've got a Watash no Himitsu. I've got a Secret. I haven't watched these. I don't own a VCR anymore. <laughs> and uh, MXC. And the last few things we have are the um, Eki Dragon from Waku Waku Dobutsu Land. Uh, we've got the Takeshi's Castle, these uh, little play sets, uh, the Bandai play sets. Um, we've got the Ultra Quiz Ultra Hat, where uh, it actually does work. I mean, I don't know if this one works because I haven't taken it out of the box, but it does work. And um, I have the uh, Quiz high and low president quiz high and low playing cards. Fun fact, manufactured by a little company called Nintendo. I don't know how well that will show up. Nintendo made these cards. And I think that's it. I have Olivia Newton-John playing cards and some other kind of playing cards. If anyone wants those, please uh, speak up. And I think we've covered pretty much everything. Um, let's go back out into the light where we can end this. So I forgot to cover a couple of things uh, while Mom was here. I figured I would just do a little bit right now. So uh, this is actually a frame with some press photos. Uh, the one in the upper right, I believe, is from a show called Sore wa Himitsu Desu, which was sort of a combination between I've Got a Secret and What's My Line. As we pan down, we will see another frame with several ticket stubs in it from various sort of audience uh, events of the 1960s. The one we'll want to focus on is this one with this little gray box over here that says TV Sorewa Watashi Des. NHK, this is a ticket stub from the original Japanese version of To Tell the Truth. And as we scroll down further, we will see a uh, set of cards. These are postcards that were given out from NHK Promotional uh, to commemorate their anniversary. And the one in the upper right hand corner is from the Japanese version of I've Got a, of, uh, I've Got a Secret, Watashi no Himitsu Des. Uh, these are a couple of train tickets from All Japan, uh, All Japan High School Quiz Grand Championship. Uh, I believe these are the tickets that 
uh, contestants or representatives of schools would use to travel from uh, their hometowns to wherever the tournament was being held that year, or at least the finals of the tournament. And I thought I'd just do a quick sweep of everything to show you some of the stuff, uh, and then I can go into detail later. And shame on me for forgetting probably the most important piece of memorabilia I own, the Takeshi's Castle staff jacket. Let's see if we can get all that on camera. There you go. There it is right there. Takeshi Castle, TBS TV, Friday PM 8 staff jacket. This is what the cast and crew of Takeshi's Castle wore. Uh, not the, the uh, cast, just the crew mainly. Yeah, uh, this is probably the biggest item in the collection, and if anyone other than me touches it, you die! Anyway, thanks for watching this uh, fun little video vignette I did. I hope you like it. I hope you weren't super bored by it. I hope my mom doesn't lose uh, function of her right hand in this, but uh, mom's laughing. Anyway, uh, till next time, it's hard to see the end when you're beginning.